Lori, that is one too many candles. Looks like we're gonna need a bigger cake. <laughs> Elena, can you please pass me the drugs? of dormitory fires start in dorms just like yours. When there's a fire, don't run, race, an acronym that can save your life. R. Rescue anyone in immediate danger. A. Alert FDMY and public safety. Hey, there's been a fire? C. Close all doors behind you. And E. Evacuate using the stairs. Remember, in the event of a fire, get out and stay alive. Education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. William Butler Yeats On April 21st, a fictional fire was set in a college dorm for the purposes of this video. For a of fire. Your, your ID, please? FDMY, Ladder Company 4. You have your IDs? I don't. It all started in Sweet 1704. This is their story. <laughs> Think it wasn't an accident. Birthday cakes don't just catch fire, Frank. Besides, whoever did it tried to put it out. Let's have forensic run the prints and see if the perks in the system. I'll need you to canvas the witness, establish a motive, and bring me the suspect. This time, they're not going to get away. Unlike the man who murdered my clerk. Man, you're gonna want to see this. Another day, another preventable fire. Oh, 
tampering with these things. Look, until someone calls the duty phone, there's nothing I can do. Buildings catch fire all the time. It's part of the job. Yes, is it true that the smoke detector didn't go off? Listen, I don't make them. I just hang them up, collect my check, go home to my kids. And where were you the night of Sue's party? Let's see. In my room, doing my econ problems at minding my own business. I remember because the music was so loud. I wasn't even invited. Figures. One more thing. Uh, Sue, once the, the fire broke out, was there anything she could have done? Soon as a fire breaks out, you have less than three minutes before the entire room is involved in the fire. Survival will depend on not panicking and remembering to stay low. Something as simple as closing the door behind you on your way out will confine the fire. Most, Most of the time, it is, it is the smoke, smoke that kills people. people. All, All university buildings require full, full evacuation. evacuation. Call 911 or public safety after you evacuate everything. I, how do you know all this? <laughs> it's in the manual. Manual? Oh, thanks. Anyway, what makes you think it was the birthday candles that started the fire? Oh, a bulletin board is being defaced. I must go. She's right. How do we know it was the cake that started the fire? Oh, well, what else could it have been? A number of things. Listen to this. <clears throat> the most common causes of residence hall fire alarms are unattended food items being cooked, electrical fires, hair care products, and the heated affection between sweetmates. Could have been any one of these things. Looks like it's going to be a long night. I'll, uh... I'll call the boys at the station. Look out! That was a close one. I'm not your partner. Of course not. He's dead. You better go. We'll interview suspects in the morning. For now, try and get some sleep. Don't let the job get to you. Maybe you were thinking that a fire would not get out of control and spread that fast. Maybe you were thinking you could have put that fire out with an extinguisher. But before you arrive at those conclusions, I think you should watch a room burn. We have removed one wall of this room to watch it burn. The furniture, carpet, curtains, linens, clothes, appliances, and decorations are ordinary, just like in Sue's room, just like in your room. After the first flame appears, it will take only three minutes for this room to become totally involved. Seconds, 150 degrees Fahrenheit. One breath of this heated air would sear your lungs and kill you. It's usually not the flames that kill, it's the heat, the smoke, the toxic fumes. degrees Fahrenheit. Remember this. You have only 30 seconds, no more. Do not spend more than 30 seconds trying to put a fire out. Just get yourself out. Three minutes, 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. The problems with fires are multiplied in residence halls. 
The problems with fires are multiplied in residence halls, the close proximity of rooms, the long hallways with multiple entrances, stairwell doors propped open, turn the stairwell into a massive chimney through which fire and smoke can rise. All of these promote the rapid spread of fire and smoke from room to room and floor to floor. Is there one single act that could have been done to slow the spread of smoke and fire? What should you do? Do you know that a door is one of the best pieces of firefighting and life-saving equipment? And if you leave a room that is on fire, you can help stop the smoke and fire from spreading too quickly if you simply close the door. Previously on CU Fireside. It's a fire! Run for your life! This time they're not going to get away. Let the man murder my partner. I'm telling you, I don't remember. We were all high from smoking too many marijuana cigarettes. Smoking indoors. That'll do it. I'm going to show you a few pictures. You let me know if uh, you recognize them. Seen it. How about big dude with my own two hands? Are you categorize your relationship with my client as romantic? I'll ask the questions here! Look, look, we believe you. Uh, can you just like tell us what happened? We don't have midterms to study for. Did you take any precautions? The, does the word pass mean anything to you? Pass! Pull, aim, squeeze, sweep! <laughs> Rinse, repeat! It's only the most basic of all fire safety actions! It was everyone's fault. The candles, the stovetop, the curling iron, all because of some foolishness and some smoking marijuana cigarettes. Wait, but I just need some more time. I'm so close I can taste it! Been there, done that. Wait a minute. Been there, done that was a 2011 song by Luke Bryan. Bryan is from Nashville, Tennessee. Tennessee is next to South Carolina. South Carolina is the biggest producer of tobacco. Tobacco is smoked! The time of the fire was pretty chaotic, right? Sure. And it was hot. Yes. Into that kind of thing. And there was a lot of smoke, wasn't there, Phil? Yeah, I couldn't even look at my own hand as this common in Class A fires involving ordinary combustibles. Eureka! Where? It's the smoke detectors. If there was really as much smoke as Phil says, there should have been more alarms going off than before my Monday 840. So, so why weren't they? Someone's always tampering with me. I wasn't even invited. Figures. Eureka! I'm not falling for it this time. All because she wasn't invited to the party. <laughs> And who wouldn't want to watch a room burn? Hey, it's going to be a long academic probation for this one. And we couldn't have done it without you, detective. Hey, did you ever uh, find out who killed your partner? <laughs> no. I got to tell you, you sure do know a lot about fire safety. Have you ever thought about becoming an RA? Yeah, Captain, what are you going to do now? She's just a girl and she's on fire. Hotter than a fantasy, lonely like a highway. She's living in a world and it's on fire. Filled with
catastrophe, but she knows she can fly away. Oh.